warm greetings to learners in this board we are discussing about image interpolation so what is meant by interpolation an interpolation is a process of using known data to estimate unknown values what is meant by known data and what is meant by estimated unknown values means for example suppose we are captured an image uh, through camera or whatever the resource we use to capture the image uh, and after that if we want to zoom that image okay so uh, from the original image to zooming image uh, of the size uh, how much we want to zoom that one then that is one kind of processing the image so actually the image having some uh, known size known data which is occupying the original default uh, size pixels surrounding spatial resolution default values it is having at the capturing time and after that processing means suppose we are applying the zoom operation process or shrinking or rotating the image or geometric corrections if we do any geometric corrections then all these are some examples of processing the image then after that the original data original default data is occupying and uh, some unknown estimated values okay then the process of using known data to estimate unknown values is called the interpolation this is the image interpolation then this image interpolation sometimes we also call it as resampling we also call it as resampling it means an imaging method to increase or decrease the number of pixels in a digital image so by zooming we are we are increasing the number of pixels and by shrinking means the cropping of the image for example then we are decreasing the number of pixels in the digital image okay so digital cameras use interpolation some digital cameras use interpolation to produce larger images than sensor captured or uh, uh, created digital zoom it means some cameras are built with the uh, built with the image process technique though the sensor captured a uh, default actual size then the camera is giving digital zoom processed image at the larger image it is producing okay so this is the in image interpolation we also call it as a resampling okay we already discussed the sampling procedure it is called the resampling and the image interpolation uh, we are applying by using three methods okay we have three methods to apply interpolation operations the first one is the nearest neighbor operation process method a technique and second one is the bilinear uh, technique process technique method for doing the interpolation operation uh, and other one is the bicubic okay we will discuss these one now see here this is the original image and now we are processing uh, image interpolation operation by using the first technique uh, we discussed nearest neighbor interpolation operation okay so in this nearest neighbor interpolation operation uh, these are the pixel values of the original image then after 
uh, after processing the nearest neighbor interpolation operation we got uh, these values with the uh, uh, pixel values interpolation of uh, minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 and here we how we are doing this nearest neighbor interpolation operation means so this is the point and this is the pixel point then the starting uh, image we already know the image is represented with the f of x comma y so first pixel value of the image we are representing with the f of x1 y1 and after that we are applying some round function okay i'll uh, i will show you what is a round function operation here see we are applying the round function of the function f of 1 of x2 y2 okay so we are interpolate we are applying the interpolation operation through the technique uh, nearest neighbors for f of f1 of x2 comma y2 for that we are applying the round function on x2 and round function on y2 okay then we will get f of x1 and y1 and after that we are applying a uh, round function on x3 this one this one and round function of y3 upon this okay so first this is the x1 and y1 and then this is the x2 and y2 and now this is the x3 and y3 then we are taking the nearest neighbor from the original place pixel values see here what is the, the definition and operation of the round function so for the y value uh, round function of x so we are applying the round function upon x a single argument the round function is taking that is the x here okay so the round function uh, are doing rounds each element of x to the nearest integer value we know this very well okay and the properties of this is suppose we have we are having the fractional part of exactly 0 0.5 then in that type case we are always taking the integer with the larger magnitude value okay uh, so for example n is like greater than zero we are taking the n digit right side of the decimal point here see some example suppose we have the x value 2.5 then the round function of this is you know easily it is 3 right and suppose the round uh, value for the value 2.3 in this case you know easily the round value is 2 only okay and if the fractional part is greater than 5 or equivalent to 5 then we are uh, rounding the integer value to the next largest right side value this is the round function then coming to the nearest neighbor interpolation operation here is some example okay uh, clear uh, i am showing observe clearly observe uh, pay your attention upon nearest neighbor interpolation operation here i'll show with the by taking some matrix values okay so the nearest neighbor interpolation uh, to which block uses the value of nearby translated pixel values for the output pixel values okay 
So, for example, in this matrix, I am applying for this block. Okay. And I am translating, nearby translating pixel values. Then, it, it represents your input image. This is the original input image. Okay. I already told you the image is represented in a matrix with the digital values. And I also shown how these values are uh, be taken by using the convolutions. Then you want to translate this image to 1.7 pixels. That 1.7 pixels in the positive horizontal direction using nearest neighbor interpolation operation. Then the translate blocks nearly uh, nearest neighbor interpolation algorithm is illustrated in this example like this. Okay, so first we have to apply, we have to pad zeros, we have to pad zeros to the input matrix. This is the first step. Okay, and after padding the zeros to the input matrix and then translate it to 1.7 pixels to the right side yes to the right side then the output matrix created after padding the zero bits to the original image and 1.7 pixels right side transform translation by applying nearest neighbor tram interpolation is the resultant output of this one so first we um, <coughs> padded these zero bit uh, padded zero matrix values and then we padded these and then the image is translated into 1.7 pixels this in this way by using this uh, nearest neighbor algorithm we are applying it the nearest neighbor interpolation for various types of uh, image processing operations for example zooming uh, contra applying uh, some uh, some other operations upon that now coming to the bilinear interpolation operation so in this bilinear interpolation operation uh, we will apply the bilinear interpolation bilinear algorithm interpolation algorithm so this is the example uh, image so for this point we are applying the bilinear interpolation how we are applying the bilinear of interpolation operation technique upon the original image and after processing it we will get uh, the dimensions like this okay i'll show an example for this one so for the bilinear uh, interpolation operation we have to use for this point we have to apply uh, extracting these values and apply uh, summing, summing these pixel values and calculate after summing the extracted pixel values then we will get this output value through the bilinear interpolation operation and here for the l value we are applying the function floor function and after that we are calculating the a values with the x minus 1 and the b value with the y minus k so bilinear means before this we have a linear interpolation after that we have a bilinear interpolation operation and i'll show one example uh, pay your attention upon the example bilinear interpolation here is an example in this bilinear interpolation operation uh, suppose 
the block uses the weighted average of two translated pixel values for each output pixel value for the matrix for example this then we represent our input image uh, to translate this image to 0 0.5 pixels in the positive horizontal direction how much 0 0.5 pixels uh, translation by, by using the bilinear interpolation operation then the translate blocks uh, through bilinear interpolation algorithm technique first we have to pad the zero bits we have to pad in this bilinear operation we have to pad zero bits to the input matrix and after that uh, translate that to 0 0.5 pixels to the right side how we are uh, padding and processing through this technique means here see this is the input image original zero padded uh, values are here these are the zero padded values and this is the input image 147 values and then this is the second one so this we got after padding the original image uh, now this is the uh, translated zero padded matrix and after that this is the second uh, uh, column and we translated that one here and after that this is the third column we translated this that to here so this is the resultant of the 0 0.5 pixel values so after that uh, translation then we will get the output image this one with the with the, these values the values are these okay so these are the output values after the translation by using the technique uh, uh, bilinear interpolation operation and I said we are using for this the floor function uh, we are applying upon the pixel values for the translation I said the floor function means we, we have a floor function and a ceiling function so what these are giving values means nearest integer values up or down values are given by the floor function and the ceiling function for example floor and ceiling of 2.31 values are the floor point of 2.31 is a 2 value and the ceiling value of 2.31 is a 3 value so in this way we are applying uh, the interpolation operation upon uh, process uh, interpolation technique we are applying to process the image now our third now our third image interpolation technique is bicubic interpolation technique in this bicubic interpolation technique the intensity values assigned to point x comma y is obtained by the equation which is represented with the f of 3 of x comma y with the summation of uh, a a i j at x at i and y at i and uh, the summation values the limitations are from i is from 0 to 3 and j is from 0 to 3 the summation values so for the 16 coefficients are determined by using 16 nearest neighbor uh, neighbors then i'll show an example for this pay your attention upon the example of a bicubic interpolation technique so here this is the input image we are using 
Then the block uses the weighted average of four translated pixel values uh, for each output pixel value. Then uh, if you want to translate this image into 0 0.5 pixels in the positive horizontal direction by using bicubic interpolation, then first we have to part the zero bits to the input matrix and then translate by 0 0.5 pixels then right side then we will get after padding 0 uh, after uh, padding 0 zeros to the matrix so these are the values then uh, these are the padded bits and here we translated zero padded matrix bits then this is the first colon of the translated our input image then this is the second column and translated up to 0 0.5 and this is the third column translated and then uh, the 16 coordinate values we got in this way okay so by creating the output matrix by replacing each input pixel value uh, weighted averages of the two translated values on either side the resultant of the, the result is the the resultant image is this one this matrix image okay now i'll show uh, the interpolation um, image outputs so this is the original image this is the original image we are taking uh, and after we are applying interpolation operations what we have three types of interpolation techniques we have uh, we will see the image output how it look like so, by using those three interpolation techniques okay so this is the original image then after applying nearest neighbor interpolation operation then for the original image this is the nearest neighbor interpolation operation output image okay. and this is the bilinear interpolation operation resultant image for the same original image now if you observe very carefully then only we will get the difference between the nearest neighbor interpolation technique and the bilinear interpolation technique then this is the resultant of the bicubic interpolation operation uh, image then this is another example this is the original image now we are applying uh, now we are seeing the resultant images after processing interpolation technique so this is the resultant one for the nearest neighbor interpolation technique and this is uh, the resultant image for the processing of bilinear interpolation technique and this is the resultant one for the bicubic interpolation operation now coming to the topic of basic relationships between pixels so here we are discussing uh, the relationships between the pixels we have generally neighborhood relationships between the pixels and adjacency connectivity relationship paths and regions and boundaries now coming to the neighborhood relationship between pixels here we can see the different types of uh, pixels a basic relationship between pixels in the category of neighbors so we know the neighbors means uh, suppose here is a pixel then the neighbor of uh, this pixel is this one maybe this one maybe this one 
depending upon our uh, requirement to process the image we will select which is the neighbor for this pixel okay so for this we have neighbors of a pixel p we are representing the pixel with the p then uh, the neighbor of pixel p at coordinates x comma y we have four neighbors of p and four diagonal neighbors of p and eight neighbors of p we have so for the four neighbors of p we are denoting this with the n four of p the pixel values are x minus one comma y x plus one comma y x comma y minus one and x comma y plus one and for the four diagonal neighbors of p we are denoting it with the nd of p uh, 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 the pixel values are x minus one comma y minus one x plus one comma y plus one x plus one comma y minus one and x minus one comma y plus one and for the eight neighbors of p we are denoting it with the an eight of p then this is an four of p union and d of p the eight neighbors of p we are representing and four of p means the four neighbors of p union with the the four diagonal neighbors of p now coming to the adjacency relationship of the between the pixels uh, let v be the set of intensity values then we have four adjacencies uh, and eight adjacencies what is meant by four adjacency suppose two pixels p and q with the values from v are four adjacent if q is in the set of n4 of p neighbor of p so whenever the q is the neighbor of p the value is in the neighbor of p then it is a adjacency and here we are applying four edges four neighbors so it is a four adjacency and now coming to the eight adjacency two pixels p and q if these two are adjacent or not for this relationship we are taking the values from v intensity values eight adjacent if we are defining if q is in the set of neighbor of 8 of p okay then we can define this generally the adjacency relationship of between the pixels we know the v is the intensity values then generally m adjacency we are defining so how we are defining two pixels p and q with values from v are m adjacent if q is in the set n4 of p neighbors of p or q is in the set nd of p dimensional of the p and the set n4 of p intersection of the n4 of p and it has no pixel whose values are from v okay this is the second uh, basic relationship between pixels next relationship between pixels is the path after uh, after the uh, pixel neighbors and after the pixel adjacents now the path suppose we have a pixel value here and another pixel value here and we are denoting uh, if we want to find out the path between this two here then uh, this we will represent in this way suppose a digital path we know it is a digital path or a curve 
uh, the path may not be a straight line it may be a curve like this from pixel p with the coordinates x not uh, y not so for the first uh, for the first pixel value we are taking the coordinates x not and the y not to the pixel q so the second one we are representing with the q with the coordinates x n and y n so the destination one from 0 to n okay is a sequence of distinct pixels with the coordinates x not y not x1 y1 up to xn yn where the middle values how many pixels we uh, cannot define the middle value at any instant uh, instance of value x xi comma yi generally we are represented with the indices i then xi minus 1 comma yi minus 1 are adjacent for the for the condition 1 is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to n and here this n means the length of the path and suppose for example x naught comma y naught is equal to xn comma yn then the path is closed path we are representing that with the closed path it means the starting point and the ending point both are same point then it is a closed path and we can define four eight and m paths based on the type of adjacency we used now i'll show uh, some path values uh, observe carefully now see here an example in this example, I'll show you adjacency and the path uh, relationships between pixel values. Here the intensity values we are taking 1, 2. So these are the input images. Okay. Then for this, suppose we are applying 8 adjacency. Then see here 1, 2. So this is the initial point. From here, one path, one adjacency, here second one, and here third one, and here fourth one, and this is one group, and this is four adjacency, and this is four adjacency, total eight adjacency. And now, coming to the M adjacency, then from here to here, here to here and here to here. This is the M adjacency. So if we take the values, uh, then the eighth path from 1 comma 3 to 3 comma 3. This is 1 comma 3 and this is 3 comma 3. Then the eighth path 1 comma 3, this one. And 1 comma 2 this one and 1 comma 2 comma 2 this one here and finally 3 comma 3 this one and another way is 1 comma 3 this one and 2 this this direction and 2 comma 3 this one and now here this is the 8 m adjacency how it is 8 adjacency this is 4 adjacency and this is next 4 adjacency, total 8 adjacency. Now coming to the M adjacency, the path is the M path. This is the 8th path. Now the M path is from 1.3 to 1,3 to 3,3 is uh, here 1 3 2 1 comma 2 and here 2 comma 2 and now to here 3 comma 3 this is the adjacency and the path the relationship between the pixels now next 
now next uh, basic relationship between the pixels is the connected in s connected or not so suppose s represents a subset of pixels in an image so s is the subset of uh, pixels in an image then two pixels p with the coordinates x0 and y0 and q with the coordinates xn and y0 yn so p and the q okay then if these two coordinates are said to be connected in s if there exists a path okay so if there exists a path between the p and q we already discussed how to find out the path uh, then from x0 to y0 and xn to yn there exists a path then they are called connected in s okay and the condition is for all i values 0 is less than or equal to i and le less than or equal to n and xi comma yir belongs to connected in s belongs to s and now coming to the generalization of this connected uh, path let s represent a subset of pixel in an image for every pixel p in s the set of pixels in s that are connected to p are called connected components okay then if s has only one connected component then s is called the connected set okay and we are representing a region with the r okay of the image if r is a connected set then two regions ri and rj two regions are said to be adjacent if their union forms a connected set so ri union forms a connected set ri and rj union operation see all these are the set operations in a mathematics right i think you got this uh, already you got this point now coming to the border or uh, boundary of the image the boundary of the region r we already discussed the region r as the set of pixels in the region that have one or more neighbors that are in the region r and if r happens to be an entire image then its boundary is defined as set of pixels in the first and last rows and columns of the image then after uh, defining the boundary or the border of the image then we have foreground and the background what is a foreground and what is a background an image contains k disjoint regions see all the all these are set operations we are applying set operations upon image to process to extract the boundaries to extract the regions or uh, to find the path all those so k disjoint regions are k where k is 1 to up to k let r u okay r u denote the union of all k regions r u denoting the union of all the k regions and let r u have c here it is c denotes it's a complement then r u is called the foreground and r u complement is called the background okay then uh, so we completed the basic relationships between pixels in the next uh, board we will discuss distance measures thank you learner